What's up everybody, my name's Lucas, and welcome back to my Prey Let's Play. So in the last part, we moved into the Psychionics Lab, Psychiotronics Lab, I think that's how you say that. Very lot of phantoms here. I'm going to try to get this escape pod key. This is apparently very close. Hello, nice to see you. Turn all the way down. Damn phantoms are kind of infested this place now. Hello. Hello. I'm probably gonna check everybody else, but. before they get down here. Calibrating. Where's this escape pod key at? Actually, I know this is kind of cheating, but I'm going to reload my save because I basically did all that for nothing. <laughs> Exam work. I was afraid of this. The scientists here were in the middle of something when they died. Access to the gut is closed off during experiments. Security protocol. You'll have. 
have to finish what they started. Back in the 60s and 70s, the first research teams tried to communicate with the Typhon, but this proved impossible. Their cerebral structures are highly developed and intentional, but somehow unapproachable. They have no speech of their own, no language. They don't seem to even see us. Not like we see ourselves, I mean. I'm generalizing when I say us. Of course, I'm not a person. Not like you. Live exam procedure in progress. Local lockdown in effect until procedure terminates. Crates or cages, and <laughs> decrease the amount of time needed to complete a scan. Sure. Damn it, cells. Good job, fellas. Thank you. Trafficking, kidnapping, solicitation of a minor. Hmm. Uh, you get me out of here. I'll let you have it. M my name's Aaron. Aaron Ingram. Is that really your name? Or Director Tracton? Hey. What are you reading? A rap sheet, huh? Look, I'm telling you, on my mama's grave, that is a stack of lies meant to make pushing that button easier on you. Okay, fine, listen. I want to be honest. Some of it probably is true. I've done some wrong in my days. But this ain't right. Come on, don't just let me out of here. We'll see. Now that's what I'm talking about. Some human decency, friend.
Don't try anything. You're the one person who showed me any real kindness, and you can believe I won't get it. Uh, if you still want that code, it's 8714. Listen, you run into any other fellas wearing a green jumpsuit? Watch your ass. Well, they ain't all decent human beings like me. Good stuff in here. Maybe there's a spare pistol. I'm sure he wasn't a good man, but you freed him anyway. I'm curious if it was compassion or was there some other motive? I can only act in ways that advance my directive. The Typhon can only kill and destroy, but you're human. You have a choice. Alright, Aaron. You'd be good. To make me fucking kill you. materials. We really can't have it be inaccessible. Uh, I understand. Poltergeist. I don't think I want to go in there anymore. <laughs> Transtar's last ditch defense against an outbreak. Flimsy. But they're easy to fabricate. Best part is the built in psychoscope tech. They can discriminate between alien and human targets. Shouldn't be a problem for you, since you're not an alien. <laughs> Standing down. Alrighty. On to the guts. Transporting cargo. This game's <laughs> like that folder guy, so I'm not really looking forward to having found one of those in the future. This game does a good job of staying creepy. Like, I mean, the mimics are always kind of. Just like a jump scare, but like the phantoms and the other, whatever those other monsters are, like they, even though you fight quite a few of them, they still pretty terrifying. You don't know. 
exactly what they are and what all they can do. Create a phantom that will fight for you. It's awesome. It's kind of fucked up, but it's awesome. <laughs> At least the first sneak. So 15 plus 6, 21. Let's see. Okay, we'll figure it out. Watch out! These tunnels run the entire length of the station. Mostly conduit carrying the bare necessities. Power, water, air. But operators also use it to deliver supplies from the cargo bay up to the arboretum. Given the small number of crew assigned here, I would expect Typhon presence to be minimal as well. But that's probably a bad assumption. Fuck me, that hurt. Stop pressing that trigger. Oh, no. Stop pressing that button, Lucas. Damn.
actually meant to do that that time. <laughs> Leave each other alone, it'd be great. Got him. substation ahead. There's a magnetosphere around Talos 1 that keeps the sun from cooking your insides. Hopefully the generator isn't dying. For your sake. I'll be fine. <laughs>
Enders Klein and Magnetosphere. Plasma shockwave imminent. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, one. The shockwave imminent. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, one. where he's at, where she's at, whatever. Let's wait for the plasma shot wave, and then we'll go in there and try to get him. So I don't have any super repair kits. Shelter, plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. 
plasma shockwave imminent. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma. The shockwave in five, four, three, two, one. appears to be centered around the creation of this substance. The original researchers called it coral. Beautiful. But we're not sure what its purpose is. It's never spread outside the containment cylinder. Until now. Huh. I'm sure it's fine. Beam. Now this is new. Let's see. Eat that. Eat that. saying to it's not funny asshole you know what's not funny taking credit for my design that's what this is about i'm senior on the black box project josh that's how it works here if you weren't such a piss poor team player you don't that oh and by the way i had to fix a bunch of your calculations so it's not you seriously you're recording this <laughs> but is, is this a big sting operation josh you gonna hand me over to the da <laughs> You are so pathetic. I'm done here. Josh, what are you doing? Let's just see how good my calculations are. I swear to God, if you don't put that down, I will rip it out of your sweaty hands and... Josh! kinds of disoriented. Okay. Back to the start, okay. Oh, 
This is Chief Engineer Illusion. The power plant has been compromised. I repeat, the power plant has been compromised. It's about time, Sam. Chief, I'm not a contest. I'm doing the best I can. Micah, this is Security Chief Elazar. Can you hear me? Sarah? Yes, I can hear you. Been trying to patch into the PA. My team's in the cargo bay, and those three teams are in here too. They're crawling all over the station. Check everything around you. Hit it with a wrench. Check the wrench first. Sam? He's right. These things... <laughs> smash every freestanding thing and see if it comes back at you. Get to a secure area, and when you're safe, call me via transcribe. I'm sending you a secure contact. All right? Understood. I left my transcribe in the coolant monitoring station. <laughs> Heading there now. I can lock myself in. Are you okay? I'm just catching my breath. Sarah, can you tell me what happened? Micah, get safe, then call. Hmm. I'll read them. Yes, this place is very good for relaxing and reflecting. I was gonna worry about if your coffee mug is actually an alien in disguise. screen. Almost there. Is up here as well. Jupiter in his palace at the top of the heavens. He used to say that behind his back. But that would make you what? Neptune? Pluto. Something like that. Right in here. <laughs> you asshole. Good morning, Carlos. 
Organize everything here. Oops. Okay. Looks a little better. Alrighty, let's go to an employee. Check it out. Go to deep storage. Alrighty, so I guess next part we'll <laughs> find out what that is. Uh, I really appreciate you if you made it this far in the video. I really appreciate you watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Alright, see ya.